Hey guys, this is Jeressa, at sa araw na ito, I'm gonna take you to work with me. This is my version of A Day in the Life of a Nurse here in UK, Day Shift Edition. So if you want to know what it's like to be a nurse in a surgical ward, just keep on watching! I usually have a shower the night before kasi di ko talaga kaya ang lamig ng tubig sa umaga. After getting myself ready, chinecheck ko naman ang lunchbox na pinrepair ko na rin the night before. It's breakfast time. Pinalaki kami na dapat talaga kumain ng breakfast. At naniniwala ako na ito ang isa sa pinaka meal of the day. And of course, my favorite, coffee! After my breakfast, I'm so ready for my 12 and a half hour shift. It starts from 7.30 a.m. until 8 p.m. We call it long day shift. You know you're early at work kung almost empty pa ang fridge. Because it's still pandemic, nagsusuot kami ng goggles or visors. At 7.30 a.m., we sit down to have a handover or report or endorsement of all the patient that is in our ward. It's from the nurse in charge of the previous shift. Ito din yung time na ina-allocate kung sino ang ma-assign na patient sa'yo that day. We also discuss briefly yung mga new updates or policies or any announcements. After ng handover, meron naman kami short but detailed bedside handover ng patient na na-allocate sa'yo. Check lang kung napirmahan ba ng previous shift ang kanilang mga medications, updated ba ang fluid chart, ang evaluation, napirmahan ba at natapos. After handover, if there's no urgent things to be done, ay nagre-ready na kami to do our morning medication rounds. So in here, I'm just gathering some medications to do my first round. Usually, each patient meron silang lock cupboard for their own medicines. Mornings from 8 to 11 a.m. are always the busiest. We admit and prepare patient going to surgery. But because of pandemic, wala pa kami elective patients. And also, during this time, Doctor's rounds may happen. Well, honestly, any time of the day, doctor's rounds may happen. So after doctor's rounds, I have to carry out a bunch of new orders. Our morning routine also includes helping our healthcare assistant to give personal care to our patient. So ito, mag-gear up na ako. So 
so many reminders everywhere to keep our patient safe. At ang pinaka-importanteng, wash your hands. I lost count kung ilang beses ko nang nahugasan ang kamay ko in a 12 and a half hour shift. Our first break starts at 10 a.m. for 15 minutes. Pero every trust is different. Dito sa trust namin, we have a 15-minute tea break in the morning at 2 30-minute lunch and supper break for a 12 and a half hour shift. Let me introduce you to my bestie. Ito ang aming blood pressure machine. We check patients' vital signs any time of the day, especially kung merong kaming post-operative patient. At nire-record namin to dito sa aming iPad. Patient track ang app namin. It's time for the noontime drug rounds. Aside from oral medication, meron din akong due na intravenous medication today. So, ayan ang pinaprepare ko. It's lunch time. So obviously, hindi kami pwedeng magsabay-sabay mag-lunch. My first break, second break, third break. At kung late ang first break, it's a chain reaction. Late din kaming lahat. If it's not written on patient's notes, it means that it's not done. So napaka-importante ng documentation or charting. So ito, nag-umpisa na akong mag-document ng aking initial assessment. During this time then, I nag-check ako ng patient's blood results and swab results. I also take the time to read patient's notes kasi baka may mga new orders na na-miss ako or may mga referral na kailangan gawin. medway. Ito ang aming admin system. So, nakikita kung sino for discharge or for transfer. Sa more vital signs checking, most of my afternoon, especially kung may post-operative patient, ay monitor talaga ang vital signs. May every 30 minutes, every 1 hour, every 2 hours, and so on. in. So, so far, it's been a good shift. Wala kami masyadong admission. Stable ang mga pasyente. Nagawa ko ang aking mga dapat gawin. <laughs> Nahabol ko yung mga request sa mga doctors. Nahanap ko sila. So, after dinner, settle ang mga pasyente. Check, check, check. Ito yung rush hour time trying to finish all my documentation. And if you don't know anything about admission, they almost always come during the last 30 minutes of your shift. At kung hindi ko pa natapos ang documentation ko, I will do it after handover. You will never guess how much writing we do here. At eto ang isa sa pinakamasarap gawin ang mag-print ng handover sheet kasi ibig sabihin malapit na matapos ang sheet namin. Yes!
nakapagbilis na ako to yung clean clothes Hagard o bersosa na ang itsura natin. <laughs> Super Hagard. At nalinis ko na aking mga paraphernalia. Na-disinfect ko na sila. So, it's time to go home. Freshness. So, katatapos ko lang mag-shower. Na-disinfect ko na ang aking sarili from head to toe. Napakasarap. May nagbago ba? <laughs> Siguro parang walang nagbago sa face. Pero yung feeling ko, I'm clean. Very clean. Ang next priority ko ay ilagay sa washing machine ang aking uniform. Kasi you'll never know kung may mga umaaligid na bacteria and viruses. So, iwa-wash ko yung 60 degrees. And then, next priority is kumain at mag-relax. Music